So on this next example, um, so again, guys, knowing our, we, knowing our trigonometric ratios, if we have 60 degrees, again, I could quickly just go ahead and look at this and say, all right, well, if this is my short leg, if this is my short leg, then that's 2x. That's x square root of 3. So therefore, to go from here to here, you multiply by square root of 3. So to go from here to here, you would just have to divide by square root of 3. So x equals 15 feet divided by the square root of 3, which I could rationalize the denominator. And that would be 15 square root of 3 over 3 feet. OK? So using your trigonometric ratios, you could do that. However, what we're going to be learning next after these two problems, so I'm going to do two more problems. It's also important to make sure you can identify the trigonometric ratio, because sometimes you can't do this with special right triangles. So I want to at least practice writing that out. No, I don't. Well, it depends. Huh? Oh, I could simplify this. You're right. Oh, thank you. Five square root of three feet. Right? Good job. So let's do it another way, though. If we're looking at this, guys, if we have 60 degrees, right, we don't have the hypotenuse, but we have the opposite and we have the adjacent. So which trigonometric function uses opposite and adjacent? Yeah, but which trigonometric function? Tangent. So we could say tangent of 60 degrees equals 15 over x. OK? So. How do you figure out what the tangent is of 60 degrees? Well, guys, all the tangent is of 60 degrees is square root of 3 or 2 over 1 half. So tangent of 60 degrees equals square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, which if you multiply by the reciprocal is just the square root of 3. So in reality, we could rewrite this as the square root of 3 equals 15 over x. Now, you can't solve for x when x is in the denominator, so you'd have to multiply by x on both sides. Mm -hmm. Then you'd have x square root of 3 equals 15. Divide by square root of 3, divide by square root of 3. x equals 15 over the square root of 3, which we know simplifies to 5 square root of 3 feet. Okay? Now, I kind of chose some you know, problems. I, some of you guys might, well, I'm just going to use special right triangles. It's a lot easier than what you just did.